In today's episode, you will learn how to use the SSD1306 OLED display with ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module and Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. A potentiometer is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Node MCU module, while the OLED display module is connected with the I2C pins D1 and D2. The value on the LCD is updated after every 2 seconds. The Node MCU ESP8266 and ESP32 power supply PCB boards used in this project are sponsored by the PCBWay company. PCBWay is quite professional in the field of PCB manufacturing. You can try their services at extremely low prices, only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, the new members also get a $5 bonus. The Gerber files of the PCB boards used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find a link in the description. I also connected the same potentiometer with the analog pin A0 of the ESP32. The OLED module is connected with the GPIO pins 21 and 22 which are the I2C pins. In my previous tutorial, I have already covered the extreme basics including OLED interfacing with Arduino, how to fix some common issues, how to select a proper library, how to use the basic OLED functions, how to print text messages and numbers and how to draw different shapes. There are two versions of the same OLED display the one is SH1106 and the other one is the SSD1306. If you look at both the modules, it's hard to tell which one is the SSD1306 and which one is the SH1106 or LED display module. So if you want to learn how to differentiate between the two OLED display modules, how to find the I2C address and how to fix the most common issues then I highly recommend watch my previous tutorial I will provide a link in the description without any further delay let's get started The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the 128 by 64 I2C supported SSD1306 or LED display module. It has a total of 4 mail headers clearly labeled as ground, VCC, SCL and SDA. This OLED display module can be easily powered up using 3.325 volts. As the ESP32 and ESP8266 are 3.3 volt controller boards, so we will use 3.3 volts to power up the OLED display module. If you take a look at the pinout of the ESP32, you will find GPIO21 as the SDA and GPIO22 as the SCL. So using these two pins, multiple I2C supported devices can be connected with ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. Now if you take a look at the pinout of the Node MCU, ESP8266, D1 is the SCL and D2 is the SDA. D1 and D2 can be used to connect multiple I2C supported devices. The 5V regulator power supply based on the 7805 voltage regulator is used to power up the ESP32. A wire from the output of the voltage regulator is connected with the 5V pin of the ESP32. Make sure the ground of the 5V power supply is connected with the ground of the ESP32. A potentiometer is connected with the analog pin A0 which is the GPIO36. The other two legs of the potentiometer are connected with 3.3 volt and ground. The OLED display module SCL and SDA pins are connected with the GPIO pins 22 and 21, while the VCC and ground pins of the 128 by 64 OLED display module are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground. For the Node MCU ESP8266, I'm using the same 5V regulated power supply. The output of the 
voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the Nord MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Don't forget to connect the ground of the power supply with the ground pin of the Nord MCU ESP8266. The same value potentiometer is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Nord MCU ESP8266. You know in Nord MCU ESP8266 we have only one analog pin while in ESP32 we have got multiple analog pins. So if you need more analog pins you can switch to ESP32. Anyhow the SCL and SDA pins of the SSD1306 or early display module are connected with the D1 and D2 pins which are the I2C pins while the VCC and ground pins of the OLED display module are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. This code works with the ESP32 and also with the ESP8266 without even changing a single instruction. Only the connections on the hardware side are different. As usual, before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. The purpose of this program is to read the potentiometer connected with the analog pin A0 and then display the value on the SSD1306 or LED display module using ESP32 and ESP8266. The value on the OLED display is updated after every two seconds. The circuit diagrams, libraries and code can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. I have already uploaded this code to both the controller boards ESP32 and ESP8266. Now let's watch the SSD1306 OLED display module in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.